Ford's losses were nothing compared to the sell-off in Amazon.com today. The stock got crushed down nearly 10 percent, making it the biggest decliner in the S&P 500. And that's even though it posted quarterly earnings that were in line with expectations, as we told you last night. Josh Lipton explains what's troubling investors. This is the original sign. From the start, Jeff Bezos' strategy for Amazon has been to deliver big revenue growth, which the company then aggressively reinvests in the business. That's meant small profits, but it's a business strategy investors have embraced because they believe in Bezos' vision, building an e-commerce powerhouse that also offers almost everything, from tablets to cloud computing. Now, some investors are losing their patience with Bezos after Amazon once again delivered strong sales, but a disappointing profit outlook. Amazon is now increasingly pushing out profitability. The market wants profitability sooner. It's not getting it from Amazon. It's getting the revenue at once, but not the profitability, hence the sale off in the stock. Amazon's first quarter revenue jumped 23 percent to nearly $20 billion, driven by new customers and new products. But Amazon intends to keep spending a lot of money on hardware such as tablets and set-top boxes, as well as video content and delivery services. All that spending is having an impact on the bottom line. For the second quarter, Amazon projects an operating loss of up to $455 million. The stock dropped hard in today's trade, suffering its worst day in months. It's now one of the worst performers this year in the S&P 500, despite big gains in 2013. Bulls say Amazon remains near an important inflection point where the company will enjoy both revenue acceleration and margin expansion. The market waxes and wanes on the desire, the need for Amazon to show profitability uh, near term. My guess is that um, once again, somewhere later on this year, or maybe it's even as far away as next year, they'll get a little bit of a, a little more leeway in the market for profitability. Amazon shareholders are having a rough 2014, and for the stock to get back on track, Amazon needs to prove that all that investment will lead to big growth and more market share gains. Josh Lipton, Nightly Business Report, Silicon Valley. RJ Hadovy joins us now with his analysis on Amazon. He's Global Director of Consumer Equity Research uh, out at Morningstar. RJ, great to see you again. What, if anything, is the market telling Jeff Bezos or saying about Amazon, and has it got the company right or not? Yeah, I think that the market right now is clearly fixated on that profitability number. And really, I think it has lost a lot of patience at this point. I mean, the company has been growing explosively the last couple of years, and there's always been this promise of profitability behind it. And, you know, with, uh, with the second quarter guidance looking for a loss between $455 million and, and effectively $55 million, uh, that puts a dent and leads to a lot of questions whether or not this company can be profitable. But I think if you take a look at the numbers a little closer and look at the North America segment alone, which generated operating profits of 4.7 percent, uh, that shows what this business can be. A lot of the investments the company is making are in the international segment. And in my mind, there's no reason why the success the company's had in the U.S. business in North America can't be replicated internationally. I think there's a tremendous amount of demand for the services that Amazon offers, and there's a lot of uh, preparation that needs to be uh, built out before that demand is satisfied. And I think that's what we really will start to see in the years to come. Yeah. You know, RJ, you make a good point. I mean, they have, Amazon has uh, amazing uh, products. Uh, hundreds of thousands of people are using the service every single day. But having said that, do you think that Jeff Bezos has to change something that he's doing here? Yeah, I think he does a little bit, but I think we also saw part of that this past quarter. I think that the company signal uh, that it, it's looking a little bit closer to profitability was the increase in Prime memberships. The company raised its annual Prime membership fee from $79 to $99. And I think if you take a look at, you know, the, the incremental profit that comes from that, I think that's a signal that the company is a little bit closer focused on profitability across its entire portfolio. And I think as we look, you know, not only at Prime, but also Amazon Web Services, um, the different things that can drive profit for this business, they really just started to take hold. Uh, I think this last couple of years was really a land grab story for this company and just, you know, locking in as many customers as you can. Now that you've got those customers locked in and, and giving them, frankly, a lot less reasons to shop anywhere else between Fire TV and uh, Amazon Dash, I think you'll start to see the company monetize those, uh, you know, market share and, and customer acquisition gains the last couple of years and start to build a uh, margin expansion story into what's been one of the better growth uh, Big revenue growth stories. Big sell-off in the stock today, RJ. Would you buy it at this price or do you think it goes lower? and there'll be a better entry point. 
Now, I think it's got some support at $300, and uh, it, right now, it, it, to me, uh, it's quite a, bit of, quite a bit of a discount to my $400 fair value estimate. Uh, $400, my fair value estimate assumes that uh, only mid-teen uh, revenue growth, but also operating margins just get into the mid-single-digit range over the next five years. It doesn't take a lot with the revenue that this company is generating, not a lot in terms of margin expansion for this uh, really to generate a, a really strong free cash flow story, and I think that's been overlooked. Uh, I like it right now at current levels. Uh, yeah, I, I just want to follow up on that, RJ, because in your report you said fair value of 400, which you just said, buy it at $240, sell it at $620. Talk, uh, talk us through a little bit on that 620 uh, sell number. Yeah, so the way Morningstar looks at stocks is we, we bake a margin of safety around our, our intrinsic value. Uh, my, my fair value on Amazon is $400, and, and based on your level of safety uh, and comfort with the free cash flow of the story going forward is what kind of level you feel comfortable with it. At $300, I feel pretty safely. It's a four-star name, which in our uh, terms is a, 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 a buy, and I think that's the right time to start looking at this. $240 would be the trigger point for a strong buy for a name like this, where mm -hmm. you know, I think that you know the, the worst-case scenario has been priced in, and we feel pretty Pretty comfortable that this is a, a, the absolute mm -hmm. right time. I, I think three hundred dollars. That for most investors, uh, risk tolerance. It's the right time to get in. All right, R.J. Thank you very much. Have a great weekend, R.J. Hadavi, Morningstar analyst.